Hello dreamers, and uh, in this episode we'll be working on the northern latitudes. Uh, last episode we um, made the planet into a group, which we will one day cut out of this to create a whole new um, component on its own. Um, but for now, it's still in just development mode and it's almost finished with uh, the north still to be done we have a purple what I'm gonna call purple world and then red world and then we might even do some other colors green and blue um, and then we got the neon pink uh, fixed to the hemisphere last time and then you see the north and south kind of um, colored with the flex uh, give it a, a good um, Okay, uh, background color for uh, the sea or whatever land if we want land to be there we might have land to be there so let's let's do that actually today where uh, we make some land and around this uh, the other thing is I wanted to make the north a little more northerly so um, here was the idea of just to do something like that, like that. I might even um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, the other thing that's super cool about this technique is that I can duplicate it and fill that space too if I wanted, which I might. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's got a cool C thing happening actually. I do want to keep it the way it is. Okay, there we go. And, and now I just have to pull that side down, twist that down, and push that down a little bit. But I got the general. Okay. Okay, I, I like that. I think I'm going to push it. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. I think it's fine. Let's fix this. Um, we had a couple of little problems with that. And um, I'll take this. Nope, that's not it. I want to go into that. And I want to go into tool, clone. There we go. Fixing. Whoop, I didn't. Clone. Okay, fixing. That's actually super cool. There we go. Oh, you know, I never placed... While I'm doing this, um, you can adjust your... the rotation of the controller. And I was not doing that. Interesting. Better. Yeah, more realistic there. Um, the other one was... This one, I want to kind of break up that shape here. Do the same exact thing. But a little bit, that's fun. That was fun. Try to get that back. There we go. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, I'm looking kind of up on the mountain. See these ridges that I'm creating up on the mountains? That's neat. And I, some of the flex breaking through actually is cool. And I like having that like that. Yeah, that's neat. One of the things I was talking about is that walkable land is mm, trickier than I thought. Uh, so most of this is not actually walkable by a puppet. But I did change the gravity. So I don't know how successful we could be walking around that. But that looks beautiful. Um, so very cool. We got that North uh, Island improved. Let's improve this one too. I'm going to grab that clone, but then scale down a lot and just make like a, another little ice shelf there. 
And that's this is the type of thing where the the thermo can go crazy if you're not if you put too many of these in there. I think that's cool. I like that a lot. How neat. And the flex are cool too. I um wow, fun. I'm I'm thinking about doing like a level of detail thing. I don't I don't know. Uh, there we go. I've wanted to do this a lot. I like it. I like it though. It's just, it's cool. Um, I think uh, what I want to do is like a microchip that turns all of that off in, in, a, in a radius around the puppet so that you could see it in the distance. Um, but um, never close. Just like reality! <laughs> Okay, I probably had some more jokes, and I'm going to let them all go. Um, that looks that looks real enough. I'm cool with that. I'm looking at this like little shadow there. I think that's cool. Um, there's another one there. That's it's a little weird. Is this a cave? Okay, okay. That's cool. Uh, I like caves. <laughs> we'll leave it. Um, all right, what else were we working on? It's it's coming along well. Uh, the most of the planet is uh, habited, but yes, I want this red world to have uh, more dirt. Okay, so now watch this. I have this uh, trick, and I don't know if it'll work. We're gonna try it right now. I want the red to be in the daylight. You can see how purple's in the daylight? Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Hey, <laughs> I think that worked. And I want to really work on that side a lot. So I think this is daylight. Oh, th yep. Okay. So red is going to, and I don't want to move it too far because it got mad at me. So we're too far from origin. I think that's fine. And I'm blasting it in that other planet and that's okay I think wow it is bright <laughs> okay let's not be so bright okay looking at the planet that's weird that it's so super bright on that let's change it I'm curious to know oh yuck it's always so bad I don't understand how to do light just yet, but that's one of the things that I learned when I was in VR Quill and Daniel Pixie and Goro Fujita. They, it, was, it was so great. Um, it's this idea of like, which of these colors is gonna be best? It's not actually easy to tell. Uh, where we were was, and by the way, this kind of pukey color is the one that I've been finding is like, the see do you see how that kind of it's like nice and um so like all of my skylights and stuff like they turn to this pukey color and i'm like well that color doesn't look right but and you can see the it has it has a nice effect um so that's good see and i have it on the other one too uh okay so that was a small fail all right i don't know what's happening we're glitching Okay, so I think we're good. We're, uh, back to the planet. Um, we're working on the red. I like that. Yeah, I think that's a fix. It's a little, okay. Yeah, now what we're going to do is try to make this dirt instead. And there's a couple different ways to do that. I'm actually wanting to try to spray paint. Okay, uh, is that it? Is that there? Okay, because I like that. Okay, so then inside of this sculpt, and I do want to keep that purple, I, I, I want to make sure to not lose that purple thing there. Oh, it's so bright though. It's so, whoa, what are we, what's happening? Ooh, what's it doing? Am I punching holes? Oh, that is fun. Oh, I have to, I must. I must, I must, I must. How, what, uh, what should I do with this? I like that over here, indeed. Oh, cool. Wow, okay, so that was an accidental um, find. 
that is one of the things I think makes art so fun is you got to embrace the accidental finds and what it is is that I am in sculpt mode on that outer fleck realizing uh, accidentally that the, uh, uh, the delete tool is on for which I realized oh yes I do want to clear the oceans of ice a little bit uh, and I, uh, and yeah so actually I actually don't even want it to be ice there uh, but that's going to be where the dirt is um, and then let's also define this a little bit more because yeah see watch this I can um, keep the purple and cut out the Hello, uh, oh, there you are. Okay. Maybe even carve a little river in here. Let's see. There we go. I don't know what that is. That's cool. What is that? Oh, it's okay. Okay. Ooh, that. That was actually, uh, I, 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 ooh, uh, let's see, like that, just looking at, yeah, I think that's, I think that's very nice, and that's going to be dirt, All right. and let's actually flip it, because I think, look at that, how fun is that, I can, <laughs> Okay, let's add some more dirt. Okay. And we're making a terrestrial plant. This is, yeah, this is really where it gets kind of real, huh? There we go. I might move some rocks over there. And these might be green hills uh, if we're going to paint them. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever done this. So. Um, one of the things that would be... Oh, that's cool. Alright. I just... Dirt. I need some dirt. That's fine. I like these big hills. I don't know. Um, there we go. This is very lumpy planetoid. We should actually take that down a little bit. So let me let me see if I could do that. That's kind of fun. Um, I don't want Olympus Mons over here, uh, but I can go and grab the move tool and I think just move it. Yeah. Okay. And that is always quite enjoyable. Cool. So uh, we can make that dirt into grass or whatever or whatever. So let's try to paint it. Um, Got to get back to. Wow, such a pretty, pretty, pretty thing. Um, into this mode, and then we got to go into this button down into spray paint. There we go. Now this doesn't always work out for me, so. I've not always been successful at dirt. Dirt's not actually that easy. Uh, another thing I'm looking at is look at that. It is, it has got frozen texture on it, which is great for frozen texture, not for dirt. Another problem that I'm in is that we're in super direct sunlight. I might have to get a whole different sculpture underneath this. Uh, this is happening many times. So here we go. What am I painting with? Blue. That's not going to work. So we want to kind of, I think we'll just try this for now. Um, ooh, pretty. It, and frozen dirt. That's cool. This whole plant. I, I like it. 
so I'm going to let it be fine. I do want to